Hey, pile one, blessings coming your way. So here is your angel messages. Let's see what they are. So blessings coming your way. You have intention. Meditation. And guardian angel. Wow. Nice. That's so beautiful. So I feel that the blessings that's coming your way is your prayers are coming true. Like everything that you've been manifesting so far, everything that you've been like doing your affirmations, your mantras, you've been meditating, grounding yourself, working on yourself. I feel that your intention is so clear that it's coming true. You're manifesting exactly what you want and it's coming to fruition. You're definitely healing at this time. That's your blessing as well that things are going to start coming full circle. You're not going to be stuck anymore. You're healing um, some kind of ongoing issue. This could be love. This could be something with your health. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Hmm. I feel like you're being divinely guided at this time as well. And that you're being protected by your guardian angels and your ascended masters. So let's look at what we have here. Your blessing, let's say. So, yeah, I see you coming into strength. You could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo. You have a lot of strength coming to you. This took a long time coming because that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, and I see you, your wishes coming true. I see you celebrating with friends, some kind of event that's going to be happening in your very near future. I'm hearing two, so maybe two weeks, two months from when you see this. Seven of Cups, the year of the horse here. Um, you have the year of the monkey as well and the year of the goat. So a lot of options you're going to be having in love and career anything that you've been wondering. I see you becoming um, more self-aware of what you like of your surroundings, who, who you're letting into your space. I feel like you're you're not dealing with bullshit anymore. Yeah, you're not accepting if, if this is love, you're not accepting any offers that are like not well deserved. You're not letting anyone into your aura, into your circle that is not worthy. I feel like you're being more selective of who you hang around with and who you're, like I said, putting in your in your space. You don't want any toxic energy. I see a Pisces here. I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I see a fire sign as well. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, if this is love or an emotional offer, I feel like you walked away from it. I feel like you walked away from somebody, you left them behind, or they could have left you behind. You could be a single parent. Or there's a need for you to leave behind what no longer is serving you. I feel like you, you could be confused, right? But the blessing is, is that you're walking away from something that's toxic. You're leaving a relationship that's toxic you're leaving a job that's toxic that you don't like and you're not happy with. Yeah, and you're getting clarity and truth now in some kind of situation. I feel like things are going to start coming to the surface now. Because you have this guy's looking down because he's like disappointed. This one's looking up. And this one's looking down again. So it's like... <clears throat> excuse me. It's... I feel that... The blessing that's coming in is that you moving away from whatever this is and you healing yourself, I feel like it's allowing the other pieces to fall off easily. Yeah, there's going to be people that leave your life that are not going to be happy with this decision. 
but they were never meant to be in your life that long anyways. Maybe you held on to these people too long and you finally chose yourself and your happiness. You could be moving to like um, somewhere near the ocean or where there's like a lot of um, like woods and stuff like that, like the suburbs. You could be moving somewhere like that. Maybe that's a blessing that you've been wanting to have your own house and to, to travel, like move towards things that you want. Maybe you're getting a job that is at a distance from you. Maybe because I'm hearing two states over. So maybe it's two states over to wherever you, you are. That could be a blessing that's coming in as well. Let's see what else is a blessing for group one. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. That's that's great. Okay. So another blessing that's coming in. If this is your story, you could be getting married or um, getting a solid offer from someone. This is like a solid commitment, tra very traditional person. And if this is not a person, which I feel like this is a relationship, but if it's not and it's a career, this is something that is a contract. This is high level like a lawyer or judge, police, something that is very authoritative. I'm even here in the Marines. Maybe that's something that you've been waiting for. Maybe this is like something that you've been hoping and praying for. I see you celebrating with friends and family. I see you being very abundant. You have a lot of abundance coming to you. You have number three here, you have the tiger. You have Taurus here, of course, and you have the Four of Wands. So you could be seeing a lot of 11 11s. You could be coming into union with uh, a soulmate very soon. Yeah, this could be 11 months from now, 11 weeks from now. You could be meeting this person. I feel like this person is coming towards you if this is a person. They could be a friend of a friend. They could already know your family. This is someone that knows you very well. <laughs> Maybe they're like a secret admirer if this is love. I feel that the blessing for you is that you are coming into union with yourself. And yeah, if this is a person coming in, they're going to be freeing you. Freeing you of you overthinking about everything, about the future, what's going to happen to you. And this could be someone from your past. This could be a reconciliation. Something that you thought was dead, done, and over with. Yeah, and this is going to help you move on. Yeah, I'm hearing divinely move on. So, so you have the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. So, I feel this is you. It could have been someone that you were dealing with, but I feel like this is you and you're just moving along. And a blessing that's coming in is that things that you thought were blocking you or you kept getting cancellations, because that's what I'm hearing, like cancellations, like you would start planning something and it would go wrong or, you know, you tried so many times and it, and it didn't work out. But now, because I feel... That what happened was it wasn't the right timing for it and now it's the right time for it and and you didn't give up and I feel like a lot of times if it did go through because you were being protected by your angels because you have a lot of protection here you were being protected from your angels from a disaster because see how he's about to step into that that trap he doesn't even he's not even looking down I feel like this is what what was happening that you were being protected always you you might have felt like oh this is not going my way why is this happening why is this happening to me why 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 but in reality it was protecting you from a disaster because there was hidden obstacles behind the scenes but now now you're being now the light is being shown to you there now all that mystery is gone because it's in divine timing now 
So everything's going to start coming to the light. You're going to start getting a lot of truths and a lot of facts that you need to move on. Okay, so that's really good. And I'm going to close this reading with some messages. Thank you guys so much. If you could, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. That's like great ways to support me and check out my other social medias. And if you want, you can donate to my channel, Opulent Spiritual on my cash app. So you have waiting for a sign. Just go. Yeah, you, you need to stop waiting. Like you're ready now. You need to go now. Glow up. Yeah, you're going through a glow up right now. That's awesome. You have April, May. destined so uh, yeah with that wheel of fortune yeah you're destined like this is destined for you this person's destined for you that's coming in i told you with the four of wands here this can be um a soulmate someone that's destined for you and you're going to be getting married to this person or like a solid commitment you could be getting a house together moving in together that could be a blessing as well they could be the year of the horse they could be born in july you have October here, so you could be hearing something in October. You have a yes and you have a no. So if you had two questions, one of them's a yes and one of them's a no. You have April. Wow, you have a lot of months here. <laughs> you have June. You have November. Wow. You have one month. You have a promotion. So maybe you're going to get a promotion in one month. You have birthday wishes, old friend. Yeah, you had that um, reconciliation. So maybe this is like an old friend that's coming in and maybe they're gonna help you glow up. Maybe they're gonna have a business idea. 777 and a gift. Yeah, I see like some kind of windfall for you. Some kind of abundance coming towards you and you have a win. So that's awesome, great. You have January, damn, you got like all the months. January and then you have wait so there's something you need to wait on spirit wants you to wait be more patient and changing way of life yeah you are changing the way that you look at things how you deal with people and how you move along in this journey because of what happened to you because your intentions are clear and bright now you've done a lot of healing your guardian angels are always with you, so you never have to feel alone. And you have a beautiful person coming towards you that's going to support you and help you. Actually, a few people. So, yeah, just get ready for that. Get excited. Keep doing what you're doing and stay strong. All right? I will see you in the next video. Love and light. Pile two. Let's see. What's the angel message for you? Blessings coming in to you. Okay. A lot of green here, so you could be dealing with your heart chakra, healing your heart. You have freedom. Okay, you have freedom. So something's giving you freedom. Serenity. Wow. I love that. Ideas and inspiration. Wow, that's awesome. So I feel like you're going to get some kind of freedom coming in soon. And I'm hearing four, so maybe four weeks, four months from when you see this. Maybe this is a new job, a new business. Maybe you're going to start your own business. Maybe you're going to work from home, work online. Maybe you're going to have your own social media platform. Maybe you're going to inspire people. There's something with children here. Maybe you're going to start writing books for children or become a teacher for children. Children, I, I feel like, because I am hearing... Um, special needs maybe this is like a special needs program that you're going to start um maybe that's something that you've always dealed with within your in your life and your family and you were always drawn to help people like this i feel like you could be going into some kind of field like that i feel like it's part of your life purpose to do that and if that's not your story i feel that you're going to be getting a lot of ideas and inspirations through your dreams from your angels and your spirit guides and while you're in nature. So there's a need for you to go into nature. 
And I feel like you're going to be coming into more freedom at this time. Oh yeah, you're definitely going to get some kind of messages very, very soon. This could be emails, phone calls, text messages, um, anything online. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I would just be careful of being um, too stubborn, you know, being um, too... Maybe you've been worried about finances and stuff like that and you've been holding tight. Maybe you don't want to share or maybe this is someone around you that they're being very greedy. Um, maybe you need help. You asked for help from this person and they didn't help you and you were let down. And I feel that they're going to get their karma. Um, you know, this person could have double crossed you in some kind of way. And I feel like one of your blessings is that this person's going to get punished. Um, they're going to get their karma for what they did to you. So you have Sagittarius energy here. I feel that if that's you, uh, that could be you or someone that you're dealing with. I see a lot of healing here. I also see you accepting an offer that this could be a love offer. This could be a commitment in business with someone. This person is meant like destined to be with you this could be like a high level soulmate i feel like in your very recent past you were very confused torn between two different things this could be you choosing two different jobs this could be between two different people and one of your blessings is that you're going to get out of this energy because you're going to get clarity with the eight of wands here you're going to get information that's going to make this very clear for you to make a decision. Yeah, and you're not going to be stuck anymore. I feel like you've been stuck. I feel like you could have been stuck in the past as well. Um, past thoughts, past energy, not being able to, for to forgive 100%. But I see you healing a lot. That's one of your blessings is that you're coming into like your completion of a healing. Triangles can be synchronistic as well. Something with triangles. Yeah, you have the moon here. Things come into light. Maybe not something by the next full moon could be significant. Yeah, this is you. You could be very spiritual. You could be an empath, a psychic. Eleven could be uh, significant. You have two. It looks like elevens, but it, obviously it's a two. But you could be seeing a lot of two, two, twos. You could be seeing a lot of eleven, eleven repeating numbers and that means you're going into this energy of forgiveness you're doing the right things you're doing the healing and that you're going to be coming into this um this announcement i feel like it's like an announcement for you seven of swords yeah if somebody's been doing bad things towards you or hurting you or maybe they've been doing things behind your back if you've been in a relationship with somebody um you know your situation this is the general reading um, but if you felt like this person was sneaky or doing conniving things behind your back or being uh, spiteful or, you know, cheating on you or whatever, I feel like they're going to get caught because they don't know. Look, they could look, they don't they can't see that they're about to get their foot in that rope. So they're about to get caught with the moon here. And you're going to know because either you're going to hear from somebody that's uh, like a psychic or someone that's like very spiritual or this could be someone that's older than you someone around you they're going to tell you something that's going to bring everything to light so that could be that same person that's greedy yeah and they're going to be left out in the cold because you're going to end up leaving them behind that's going to be the blessing is that you're going to end up leaving them behind maybe they left you behind in the past and uh now they're going to get their karma Knight of Wands. So it could be a fire sign you were dealing with. Pisces. Air sign. They could be here the horse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Fire here too. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And you have a little bit of Earth here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like it's prominently a fire sign. And I feel like 
one of your blessings that's coming in is that you're going to be very passionate after this ending. Like it's going to allow you to be free and move forward. Because I feel like you already know. I feel like you already know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready. This is long overdue. This ending is long overdue. You could be Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio. Or this can end in Scorpio season from when you see this, which is November. Um, the end of October going into November. So that's when you could probably hear what's going on with this and get this really sudden information about this ending and you're going to end it completely. Yeah, and you're going to move forward. Yeah, you're moving the calmer waters. You could have a child. You could have had a child with this person. And I feel like you're being divinely protected and guided. And that you're doing the right thing. And you're on the right path. Let's see what else. Anything else? All right. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Your completion is coming. So completion and an ending all at once. So I feel like this change is going to happen so quick that it's not even going to... Like, at first you're going to be shocked and then you're going to be like, oh, um, okay, cool. Like, it's like you already knew, but now you're facing the truth head on and you're accepting it and moving on. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you're not taking any bullshit anymore. Look at this. He's like stabbing. He's stabbing people. He's like, get out of my way. Get out of my effing way. I'm not doing this shit anymore. <laughs> Okay, so let's get some uh, spirit messages. Okay, here we go. We have blessed. Yeah, I told you guys, you're blessed. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Work on yourself. Yeah, there's a need for you to work on yourself. Treat yourself. That's going along with working on yourself. Treat yourself, self-care, love yourself, high level. Yeah, I see you going to high levels, especially in um, October and beyond, especially going into November. Ending a cycle, new start. What did I say? There you go. That That's that. That's the death card right there past life connection so you be you could be coming into some kind of past life connection with somebody finally this could be a high level soulmate september so that could be you or maybe that's when they're born or maybe you guys met in september get creative so you guys are very creative and you can use that to your benefit august you have glow up in October. Okay, so I see you glowing up in October and beyond. Like I said, cleanse. There's a need for you to cleanse. Cleanse your body. Cleanse your, cleanse your space. You have travel. Wow, so you could be traveling. I mean, you do have the world here. So you could be going overseas, traveling. And maybe you have promotion here. So maybe you're going to have a job that you're able to travel. Um like multiple times in a year maybe you can travel up to five to seven times a year self-discovery yeah you're on like a self-discovery right now chill out yeah chill out treat yourself take good sleep you know you have a no to a question here you have prizes <laughs> that's cool you have may you have know your value and a hobby so yeah thank you so much uh you guys uh i love you guys and you can give me a like and uh share my video it really helps me out helps out the channel follow me on all my social medias and if you want you can donate to my cash app and yeah thank you thank you thank you namaste all right number three Last pile. What's the blessings for you? Okay, so you have signs. Whoa, you have celebration. Wow. Support. Nice. And answered prayers. 
Okay, so the blessings coming into you, coming towards you is you're going to be getting signs from the universe, signs from your spirit guides, your guardian angels, that you're doing everything right. Your manifestations are working properly. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. You're doing all the work and it's coming to fruition now. Your prayers are being answered. There's a celebration on the horizon for you, probably by the next full moon or new moon. They're all supporting you and watching you and helping you heal. And you could bring the, the blessing that's coming in is I feel that you're going to be going into your power and you're going to be helping people heal. I feel like you could be um, someone that's like a star seed or an indigo or something that is very spiritual. Like you're meant to heal the whole planet with like your your words and how you how you are and how connected you are to the planet and all things. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something with career here. You're, you're definitely on... I'm here on the horizon and, and your work is done. Now you're going to be reaping your rewards. Yeah, this is very emotional for you, Queen of Cups. I see, I see the celebration and happiness and joy. I feel like you could be, you know, going into a moment of tearing up like in, in happiness and joy, you know what I mean? Like happy tears, like, wow, I, I made it. I made it. Cause that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone like tearing up, like, wow, I, I, I like, this is amazing. Like, this is unbelievable. You have the three of wands. So definitely, yeah, you're not waiting anymore. The wands have buds on them. They're growing, they're blooming. You're sending the hawk off, like go talk to my people and let them know what's going on. I'm ready. You know, you're ready. You're ready to start a new beginning. That's your blessing. I feel like you did the work. You did the healing. Yeah. You're ready for a new journey here. Definitely. You're ready to leap off that cliff and like take a leap of faith. Yeah. You honestly, like you don't care. Like you don't know what's in front of you. You don't know what's in your future, but you know that you're protected and divinely guided. Like you, you re you're ready to go on this adventure. Like you're excited. Yeah, cause guess what? You're meant to be a star. I'm telling you, you could be a star seed. Like, um, like born from the stars, like Palladians, Paladins or whatever. Like the, I can't think of the, the words right now, but you know what I mean? You could be a star seed someone that is meant to change this whole world i see another blessing coming in is that you're going to be healed you're going to be healed like done healing from a situation it's going to be over done completed especially by um january yeah and you're not going to have to worry about money anymore finances i feel like your debts are going to be paid off that's going to be another blessing coming towards you is that you're not going to have to feel like so constricted by your finances, like, oh, we're, I can't do any of this stuff. And, you know, I want to travel, but I have to save and whatever. I feel like you could be coming into a lot of abundance because you took a leap of faith. You took, you took a chance. You kept having faith in your angels and your spirit guides, your guardian angels. You didn't lose faith in the universe. And now you're going to be getting those blessings because you, you kept having faith. Page of cups. I feel like this is something that with the fish flying out of the cup, right? Because this is the after tarot. So I feel that there was an offer maybe in the past um, that was offered to you and you didn't, you didn't take it. You didn't feel comfortable. And I feel like that was a blessing in disguise. Like that was great that you didn't take this offer. Maybe it was rushed, you know? Um, you didn't feel good about it. You listened to your intuition and now it's, you're going to see why. Now, if you were worried about it, like, oh, did I make the right decision about that? Like, was I supposed to do that? Was I supposed to leave that person? You know, um, you know, was I supposed to leave that job? Now you're going to know why. Because you didn't, you didn't do it. And you're going to know why. You're, and you're going to be like, oh, thank God. So you have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely going to be abundant, stable at this time. Like, just very happy. Look, you have the sun here. Forget it. It's over. Like, you're, you're... You're going into so much prosperity, abundance, joy, happiness, har harmony, and love. I just see you glowing and being happy. Look underneath the deck. You have the three of cups. Like, you're going to be celebrating with family and friends. 
Yeah, this can be also a celebration in the sense that you actually have achieved something. Maybe you graduated college. Um, maybe you got your, your master's degree or your PhD or whatever. Like a high level thing. Another celebration is you could be having a child. You could be having twins. Or you found out you were pregnant. And it's a blessing because other times it didn't work out. Uh, you, you weren't able to get pregnant. And then all of a sudden you find out that you're pregnant. And in love, this could be some, this could be a soulmate coming in because the sun represents soulmate. Maybe this is someone that, that, um, is from your past that you weren't ready to commit to. And now they're coming back around. Maybe it was toxic before and you guys healed from the situation. I feel like maybe this person, um, just wanted to have sex and just be free. Like they didn't want to have a commitment. But I feel like they lost an opportunity with you. And now they want to come back to you. It's up to you what you want to do. But I do see a soulmate here. This could be two different people. Let me just clarify this. Uh, this devil. What's the devil here for? Anything else? Okay, let me see. Okay. Yeah, you didn't take this offer again. Like the, you, You were like, nah, bro, I'm good. Like this person could have been a cheater, a liar. They could have been, um, they could have been a Capricorn. Um, they could have just been toxic, like just wanting you to have sex with you and like no commitment or anything. But I feel like this person could be coming back. So it's up to you. But I feel like you do have some kind of soulmate. Yeah, because something was, was over, dead, done and over with. You thought, but maybe this person is trying to come back to you. They could have been Aquarius, a Leo, uh, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You have Capricorn here. Water too, so. But I'm not really seeing water. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're going to be rushing in. They don't care who's in their way. Um, they don't care if you're talking to someone right now. This person could be like ruthless. They don't care if, they don't even care if like you're by yourself. Like they don't care if you're single. They're like, yeah, no, you're not, I'm not taking no for an answer. So yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, cause you're healing at this time. And yeah, you're done fighting. You, you don't want to fight with people. Like you, you don't want the, the stupid shit. Like you don't want to deal with stupid ass people, grimy ass, crusty ass people. Like you're done. And yeah, maybe this is the soulmate right here. This this young earth sign person. They're going to offer you something stable. So I would just keep a watch out of this person. I don't know. This this other person, they don't seem good to me. So maybe the blessing, is, the blessing that's coming in with this is that you're actually going to deny this person a second time. So not only did you deny them the first time, you're going to deny them the second time and it's going to be completely done and over with. And now you're not going to ever have to worry about this person because maybe this is a test by the universe to really test you and see if you learned the lesson. And I feel like you did. And you're not taking, you're not taking this anymore. You're not taking this, uh, this shit anymore. And then it's going to allow this soulmate to come in. Yeah, and they can be an earth or water sign. All right, so let's get some messages here. Never the right time to go. Never the right time. All right, that's enough. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm hearing Sagittarius. Okay. Getting divorced. Oh, man. So that's one of your blessings. You're getting divorced. <laughs> so that's great. Um, leave the situation. Yeah, this person, whatever this is, you're getting out of it. You're leaving the situation. New relationship starts. Yeah, I told you. You have a new relationship starting as soon as you leave this toxic one. Destined. And this is destined for you. I told you this person's a soulmate. Travel to faraway places. Yeah, there's a need for you to get out of your comfort zone. Travel to, to places that you don't know. Uh, you know, experience life. Forgiving yourself and others. Yeah, that was that healing energy. Self-love and care. You're, you're definitely on this like self-love and care right now. And, you know, taking care of yourself. False soulmate. Look at that. There you go. 
that person, the other one's a false soulmate. Maybe you thought they were your soulmate and they're not. So just be careful of that person. Work on yourself. Waiting for a sign, just go. Yeah, because you're getting signs. So I would just pay attention because they're giving you signs. Your guardian angels, your, your spirit guides, they're giving you signs. Take care of your health. Yeah, just focus on yourself and do what you have to do. Don't worry about this person. Um, just tell them, tell them off. Tell them how you feel. Let them go. Because you have, you have an actual soulmate, like a real one coming in. You need to take action now. Yeah, you need to really be honest with yourself and th with the situation. Blessed. You are blessed. Good fortune. Nice. You have good fortune coming in. New person. Yeah, you can't make this up. You got new person. Visit family. So maybe that'll help you um, heal too, is visiting your family. Maybe you live far from them. Maybe you need to take a little trip to see them. And you have June here. All right. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I love you so much. And I appreciate you. Um, make sure you check out all my other social medias. And, you know, all that good stuff's in the description box below. And, yeah, like my video. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see. You know, tell me what's going on. Tell me about your day. You know, tell me anything that you want. All right. I wish you guys the best. And yeah, many blessings to you. Love and light.